Hello everyone and welcome back. So here we go. The first forays into uh, this peasants only challenge. Uh, here I am in Spain up here in northwest Iberia. Uh, start with a nice little two princesses, a uh, nice little stack here, a spy, a priest, uh, actually is he a bishop? No, he's a cardinal. Awesome. So um, the first thing I'll do is send my cardinal down to the Moorish land, start converting. Uh, I'll go to my army here and delete everybody who's not in the challenge. So let's see, we'll go to Toledo. Sorry, mailed knights. Uh, this is a people's revolution. Um, no nobles allowed in our glorious new system. I will go to Leon and I will convert it to a castle because I need to build peasant units. So uh, let's see, I should probably get a diplomat. Maybe I'll get a merchant just because. Yeah, I might as well build one. Get one early, maybe make me some money. So, uh, okay. I think first thing I'm going to do is take Zaragoza, because it's right there. Um, and it is a border region up there with France. I'm going to send my princesses up northeast. I'm not going to bother with diplomatic relations with Portugal, because I'm just going to be annexing them. Same thing with the Moors, obviously. Uh, my spy will be searching out the enemy villages and uh, finding out where they are so I can kill them quickly. Uh, so anyway, that's the first turn. I won't uh, film through the, the turns, so here we go. All right, turn number two. I forgot to disband my militia here, so there they go. Uh, right, I need to be building units. Oh, I can't build units. I have to build a mustering hall, and then I'll get a boyer up too, because I need the peasant archers. Anyway, not much to do, I guess, on turn two. Here we are, just moving. Uh, you can just kind of chill out. I love building watchtowers, though. I need to build a bunch of those. I like seeing everywhere in my land. So watchtower there. Princesses are going northeast. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. Uh, we have a suitable prince. Uh, I already have. I have two princesses, so I can marry one of them off. Uh, send an emissary to Portugal, but we only get military units, which I don't want because they won't be peasants. So there we go. Okay, the mustering hall is built. So now I can start uh, recruiting peasants. So let's see. Does it already have? A, yeah, it already has one because it converted. So we'll build a boyer so we can get the archers. Now I always uh, auto manage to go to growth build policy just because I'm not one for micromanaging settlements and I like the low tax rate so your places grow really fast. It ends up being really good in the long run even if you don't get quite so much money early on but with uh, only peasants in my army I won't need to spend too much money. So here we go. There's my merchant. I forgot to get him. So he will try to kill that merchant. This diplomat will be going northeast. Uh, let's find the French here. Oh, can't find them. Marriage, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, they stopped in Zaragoza. How many? There's four units there. I think I can beat them. So let's try. Anyway, that's the end of that turn. All right, next turn. Princess is still going up to find France. Uh, merchant, 52%. Let's do this. Ah, oh, shit. Asshole. Okay. That's fine. We just need to get Zaragoza under. Oh, can't hire any mercenaries. Two more units, so here we go. Three more units. Uh, wish I could recruit you. I really like the javelin throwers. They've always been a favorite unit of mine in any kind of total war game. I love skirmishers that throw stuff. Throwing weapons are just so cool. Uh, anyway, I'm done with that turn. Right, here we go. We got trade rides from the Moors uh, during between those turns. So, uh, oh yeah, I forgot about this spy. Let's see. He's defined. There's Granada. Okay, so now go scout out Lisbon. Uh, anyway, let's besiege Zaragoza. Build a battering ram there. Uh, wait for some reinforcements. And let's see, build more units. We need to pump out these units fast. We're going to be under attack. Get those peasants over there. And there we go, end of turn. Alright, so we got some Janis, or what are they called? There's some unit. Anyway, we established relations with Portugal, which means we get some oh, Ginetes. See you, though. You're not part of this game. Sorry. Anyway, more reinforcements will be pushed east. Uh, I think the battering ram is finished. How many units do we have? Just... Oh, there we go. We have some reinforcements, though. Alright, so what kind of things are these packing? Town militia, crossbow. I think we can win here. So, uh, let's push this assault. Oh, we can't. Are you kidding me? Oh well, that's fine. Uh, I need to check my income. Where's the income at? There it is. Okay, we're still making money per turn, so that's good. 
Uh, princess is still looking for... There it is, the French. Oh yeah, we could definitely use this. Trade rights? Come on. Yes! Alright, we have an alliance with the French. Now, obviously, in Total War games, the uh, diplomacy system doesn't mean much, but uh, hopefully it will keep them off our backs for a while. So, done with that turn. Alright, cool, we got a gift, 1,000 florins, sweet. Which means we are now making... Oh, I guess that trade rise with the French really brought things up. We were making about 700, now we're making about 1,900, so... Dang. Anyway, what can we be building? Definitely land cleaners. I love building these farms early. Uh, roads first, actually. Because... You just, I just love pumping up the population in all of my my cities. So I build farms right away. I always put the taxes to very low, always, all the time. Uh, it makes early game a little hard, but your cities will grow so fast, it's totally worth it. So we're just moving all of our forces east. Uh, Diplomat will be looking for people to trade with. Guess we'll go up to England. Sometimes England likes attacking me. They send a ship down to Spain and invade. I don't know why. They're assholes, but... Uh, Anyway, we need more peasant archers. Now, what I think I'm going to do is build, like, at least just as many archers as I do peasants, because the fire arrows really help with the morale, and you need those morale penalties. Uh, because you're, you're, you can't out-muscle them. Uh, we're on very hard, very hard here, so we need some way to scare them off before they just crush us. So, fire arrows. Uh, have one last reinforcement here, and that means... Oh, that's only one turn till surrender. I guess we'll just wait for him to surrender. Oh, but Fishy, you love pressing the attack. Yeah, I do, but this is a challenge, so I gotta be smart. Uh, let's just try and infiltrate. Ah, crap. My agents always freaking suck in this game. You can garrison there, too. And, uh, ooh, we have rebels. And I'm not gonna waste your time with that. So, uh, I'll kill him, though, so here we go. Well, technically, this is my first battle in this campaign, so I guess maybe I should film it. Now, let's see here. Spread. I think you want to spread them out thin, or do you want to keep them kind of thick? Maybe I'll keep them kind of thick. Turn off skirmish mode. Actually, you know, I really like the UI in Medieval. It's probably my favorite UI out of all the Total War games. So, here we go. Uh, fire arrows. Definitely. We will get the peasants ready to flank. Here we go. It'll kind of be like this. Uh... I do miss the uh, the range indicator from Empire and Shogun, though. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny to see the friendly fire in this game, though, and be like, why can't my guy shoot through my own guys? Oh, no, that's right, you do kind of want to spread thin, because then the first rank gets a direct shot, and they can just shoot straight into the enemy. All right, so here we go. Kind of miss running by default, though, to be honest. That wasn't Shogun when he run by default. Okay, so I don't want to shoot into my own guys because this game makes sense. Here we go. Yeah, you can just press R to make them run, though. It's not too bad. Ooh, man, we're getting torn up. This unit of peasants is down to 57 men. Though, it looks like we're going to win pretty easily. Uh, they're down to 40. Oh, there we go. Uh, since they're rebels... Actually, no, we're going to get experience. But uh, that's the end of the battle, so see you back on the campaign map. Oh, see you, General. Right, my peasants were obviously stellar in that battle, so we definitely don't need any upgrades. I'm not buying an armory right there, nor in Lyon. All right, so uh, we're going to wait for that. Uh, end of turn. All right, this is the first real battle of this campaign. Let's see what he has again. Some javelins, crossbows. All right, this should be an easy battle, though. Here we go, on to the battle. All right, battle starting right away. No time for deployment. Drop that siege weapon. Uh, infantry will need to be fodder, get up in here in the front, general pulling back a little bit, uh, archers get ready to go. We're not going to use fire arrows in this battle because they're mostly ranged units, and uh, alright, we're already firing, so we're going to try and just kill them straight up. Uh, general will be ready to flank though, because uh, with this general in hand, this should be a pretty easy battle, but uh, anyway, let's just get firing. Uh, peasants should also be in loose formation. Let's spread them out nice and wide. Here we go. General's move. Oh, I forgot about the towers. Will he be shooting at me? There's that thing where you have to have him stationed on the wall near the tower to get him to fire. With these wooden walls that you can't put people on top, you gotta have them near. So I don't think it'll actually be firing at me. Uh, oh, they're just gonna get destroyed here. No problem. Hey, look at this glorious AI. What are they doing anyway? Chilling. Come on, crossbow militia. Oh, well, let's end this. 
first town will be in my grasp. Try not to lose a man, those are always nice when you can win without losing a man. Gotta kill the crossbow militia to make sure we don't lose anybody. Well, if we lose a bodyguard, that's okay, because they regenerate naturally, you don't have to retrain them. Ooh, yeah, they're getting cut down. Oh no, I lost a man. Anyway, taking rebel settlements, no big deal. Ooh, somebody's routing already. Which one was that? Was that the crossbows or the javelin men? Ooh, the town militia has the general. Let's kill the general. There he goes. Alright, this battle's over, no problem. Uh, early game's not too bad. The peasants aren't at a horrible disadvantage uh, stat-wise because everybody else kind of sucks too. There's the victory. Uh, that's kind of why I want more ranged units. I'm going to have to be very, very delicate in the battles ahead when we uh, start facing some real enemies like the Portuguese and the Moors. Moors shouldn't be too bad, but if I wait too long on the Portuguese, they might get some heavier units. Um, and that would be bad. So with a settlement, we can end battle. We don't have to worry about pursuing. Lost one man, not bad. Not sure what the enemy was doing there. With not shooting, running back and forth. But that's a glorious Creative Assembly AI for you. Um, but when we start fighting some real foes, uh, they can kind of get away with bad AI because they'll be able to overpower us, no problem. Which is why I need to get those armor upgrades up. Now, I wonder if... Do peasants and peasant archers actually... Uh, we're going to occupy, though. We don't need the money. No reason to exterminate. So we're just going to occupy. So, third city under our, my grasp, which I'm going to quickly convert to a castle. Okay, Pope, I'll build a small church. But first, we have to convert it to a castle. Now, later on, when I start getting a bigger... Uh, more settlements, bigger army, I can start converting some of the castles back to settlements. But until then, uh, they need to stay as castles so I can pump out units. Now, what's my... Projected profits, minus 77. Oh, dear. That's okay, though. I have a big enough army as it stands now. Only losing 77 per turn. That's not too bad. We can take Pamplona, I think it's called. Yeah. We'll take Pamplona. It'll be no big deal. Though we need to keep... You know, we need to keep a small garrison in Toledo. So we don't get... Uh, we don't want to get attacked by the Moors too early. Faction announcement. I don't think there's anything important. We're building in all settlements. Alright, end of that turn. So for this turn, I'm going to actually garrison Toledo a little bit. Um... Just because I don't want the Moors coming in and trying to, you know, pull a cheap shot on me. So, first thing I'm going to do, what's the reward we get? Uh, where's the mission screen? Don't we have a mission? There it is. What do we get? Okay, we just get Papal Favor. What is the Papal Favor like? Eh, uh, we're okay. Ooh, I can call a crusade. Hmm. Oh, I can request one. Where should we go to? <laughs> called on Baghdad, that'd be funny. I'm not going to call a crusade, though. Uh, now we're losing 462. That's because I converted it to a castle. But that's okay, because we're about to get another castle, because we're going to attack the Portuguese. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, well. Build a watchtower. We'll wait till next turn to do that. Public orders is 70%. Oh, I should have kept one unit in there. That's fine. End of turn. Forgot that there's no automatic garrisons like there were in Shogun. Anyway, trade rides, try it for the map info. Yes. I always like to get map info. Anyway, on to the Germans and the Danes. <clears throat> but first, I can't build any units because it's not... That's okay. Uh, you two can actually go to Zaragoza. You two are going to go to Pamplona. Now, what's this unit like? Ooh, spear militia and some cavalry. That'll be tough, but uh, anyway, we're going to attack Pamplona. Start our war here against the Portuguese. There we go. Toledo's nice and reinforced. I um, have to move him out because I can only have one general per stack. That includes cities. And I uh, guess we can put someone in there just so I have a unit. And uh, anyway, if I, uh, nothing important. All right, there we go. End of that turn. Portuguese were not happy with that. I think I'm actually going to pull back for now. And oh, there we go. See, now they're split up. They're going to press the attack here. And I have a mountain to my back, so maybe this will end up okay. Uh, I've got the two cavalry units, the Ginetes here. Two spear militia, a peasant crossbowman, and a peasant archer. Alright, so I can do this. And uh, 
that'll take out the bulk of their forces, and then I can probably quickly retrain and push back into Pamplona, or maybe just jump right back in. Depending on how many people I lose in this battle, that's going to be the deciding factor. So I have Mountain in my back, uh, being attacked. I'll be on the defense here. I will not be using those guys ever in this campaign. Be nice. But it's not very representative of the people. Oh my goodness. Now this is a hill. Sadly, they could probably start just like right there, but it's the computers, so they probably won't. Anyway, I'm going to not use fire arrows quite yet because they're pretty lightly armored. I think I can thin them out pretty easily. Let's go to the top of the hill and click start. Yep, see, they can start right on top of the hill, so it's not actually going to matter. Uh, should we pull back, maybe? I don't want to, like, red line, but let's pull back a little bit so we get a better firing angle. There's my general. I could just try and assassinate the enemy general right away, which I think I'm going to try and do a little early cav action. Reminiscent of my Shogun strategies. The infantry will actually be behind the archers for now. Ooh, but I have two missile units. Oh, goodness. That's right, I do have two... Take it off six times speed. Get... Oh, man, look at all those arrows. You guys need to run. Hopefully they just throw away that general. That'd be really cool. I'm gonna need to kind of just push forward and push back. Make sure the enemy... Uh, the Genetes don't get any really good volleys into us. That would be ideal. Uh, I'd like to take out the Genetes first, actually, so I'm actually going to order my archers to attack the Genetes. Both. All of them. So that we can get them. I don't want the cavalry charging right into my peasant archers. That's just not going to be good. But meanwhile, peasants are going to reform just behind where I think we're going to get charged. So I'll have one here on the far right flank. Ooh, man, those peasant archers are really laying into me. I'm going to charge them. Pow. Now they're shaking. Just having my guys stop. Whatever their art, their orders were, just going into fire at will here. I think it's time to reform the line, though. See if we could get them, so we just get on the range at the crest of the hill. They'd have to like walk into our range to get anything off. Ooh, so here they come, catching us while we're forming. Hasn't go be a distraction. Run. Alright, peasants, time to earn your keep. Glorious People's Revolution. General will be coming around to hammer an anvil. He's got a little circle. That's good. Shoot your javelins into my peasants so they don't hit my general. That's good for me. Oh, crap. Peasants are already breaking. Which one has the enemy general? I don't see him there. There's only 13 men in that unit. I don't think it's that one. I think it's this one up here. But they're wavering now because they have a cavalry unit right behind them. Sadly, they didn't get a good charge off because it was kind of spur of the moment, but... I'll try and rally what's left of that peasant unit. Ooh, we took quite a few casualties from the ranged units. Just hold out. There they go. The general is fleeing. My peasants held strong. At least one of them did. So you can just hold back in loose formation. Try and absorb some arrows. The general will push on and try to uh, clean them up. Alright, first win on the open field, it looks like. There they go, they're wavering. There we go. End of the battle. So I'll just be cleaning you up for some experience, but there's the end of that battle. Alright. Uh, the first step in taking Pamplona is completed. So there we go. 
Uh, we'll take a look at the results screen, but I want to clean up first, so see you in a second. Alright, heroic victory. Only lost 96 men. Not too bad. Let's see. Alright, oh, that's I forgot you catch prisoners in this game. Forgot about that. Can't believe that one peasant unit just broke like that. What a bunch of wussies. That's what I have to deal with in this campaign. Uh, that was against pretty light units. They broke almost immediately. Uh, so, when talking about using generals for shock tactics, um, if you get too far away from your troops, they will just break because they're peasants. Uh, kind of like Ashigaru were. Hmm. Ransom. Sweet. And they accepted. And now they've all holed up in Pamplona, which means I can besiege them and wait them out. I don't really want to wait them out, but it's not like I have any option, really. So you go to Zaragoza. You reinforce the troops there. I really need some normal peasants, though. So I'll build a mustering home. How are my finances? Okay, now we're making 974 per turn. And we're retraining units. Good. Because we have the... Yes, good, they do. Do they get another upgrade? Yes, we get light mail as well. Uh, they don't actually... Peasants do not get leather. They get padded. Let's see if we can build that upgrade. That's kind of interesting. The next upgrade is light mail. Is padded armor... It's worth building, though, so I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it in the queue. Oh, there's a farm upgrade, though. But I think it's important to get these these peasants upgraded. I really need to upgrade these guys fast. Then I will build a farm. You can build a farm, though. I'm happy with you. Alright, so on to Pamplona in nine turns. But maybe not. Oh my god, they have three units of mailed knights in there. It's gonna be tough. Anyway, that will be the end of this part one. Uh, we will go on to Pamplona next. So, see you in the next installment.